Hey howdy hey partners, today we're going to see if Woody fits inside the Disney Store box for display. Let's get into it. You're watching Today I Grew Up. Hey howdy hey partners, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. We're on our way to 100,000 subs. As always, I wanted to talk about today, a video idea I got from a partner in the comment section. Someone asked me, Today I Grew Up. Can you display Woody inside the Disney Store box? And I didn't really ever think about it. So we're gonna see if Woody can actually be displayed in the Disney Store box with the stand. Does it fit? Let's check it out. What's cool about this Disney Store box that came out in 2019 for the True Talkers line was that it looks like a vintage box that would have been in Woody's Roundup back then in the 50s. I think I like it way more than even the Thinkway Toys one, only because it's a skinnier box. And I feel like that's more true to like, I don't know, the old times they would have slimmer boxes. And so I think this looks more vintage to me. Here beside the Thinkway Toys, you can just see it's a little too wide. Although I do like the classic Thinkway Toys Cloud logo box. And you can even see my Stinky Pete box, it's wider to fit the Stinky Pete inside. I kind of feel like if they were gonna make a box for Woody, even though we didn't really see it in the movie, I feel like it would look more like this because you have the Woody's Roundup here at the top and the rope. It just looks more vintage in my personal opinion. I know many people would probably disagree with me, but that's fine. And then here's the side differences. I just like the design of the Disney store. The skinny and tall looks really cool. Everything else is pretty similar though. And then obviously the back is just going to be more modern because it's got barcodes and descriptions. but. That's the difference between the Thinkway Toys box and the Disney Store box. Why I think this is a little bit better. Um, just because I just like the, the visual of it. I think it looks a lot cleaner. A lot more vintage in my opinion. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you prefer the Thinkway Toys design box or do you like the Disney Store? For right now we know that Woody fits in here because he comes in this box. So let's see if the collection, signature collection or white logo or custom Woody fits in this Disney Store box for display. So that's what I want to show you. First thing you're going to need is the stand. This is my Toy Story Collection Cloud Pattern Stand. It has a way for it to flip up. I think most of the display collection stands do that. So for this to work, you're going to need to flip it up like this so that it fits in this box because it doesn't fit that way. It does not fit. I tried it. That doesn't fit. So to do this, you're going to have to first see if it fits in the box. Once you're in there, you're going to twist it. There we go. See, it's hard to do, but there you go. Now you have the stand fitting inside the box. So yeah, it's a little tricky uh, to get in, but then it does work. Now, there is some plastic stuff that was here before. I had to rip it out. So to do this without damaging your box, you're gonna open the bottom, you're gonna slide this insert out, and here, you see the holes? You're gonna cut the, the strings, uh, untape it, and then take the plastic off, and then you can put it back in. And then that way, you can display your Woody. So we're gonna start with the Cloud Pattern Woody. He's the tallest one at 16 inches with hat. So this is kind of the true test to see if he fits. You kind of have to put his head, move the stand out of the way, put it up there, in there. Then, once he's kind of in the box like that, then you clip it on. So now he is clipped in there. You're going to put his boots back inside of it so that he's not falling out of the box. And there you go. Now you have Woody standing up in there and you can kind of adjust his hat in there and see, you know, once you adjust him just right how you want him, it works. It's definitely not perfect and he does look like he's leaning forward, but if you shake the box, he's not falling out there because he's in that stand. So if you have the stand in there properly, Woody displays just fine. So yes, you can technically display a cloud pattern Woody inside a Disney Store box for display and it looks good, like next to Stinky Pete here, it looks really good. I think the comparison matches. And I think it's way better than the Thinkway Toys box. And what's cool about it is because there's no plastic window here, you can just technically just pull them out of the box and it's not a big deal because 
you can touch them. There's no plastic in the way. So now let's try a different Woody in this box. So here we have my uh, signature collection yellow logo Woody. He's a little shorter. He dangles on the stand, but he fits really good too. So you can see that it does work with a signature collection Woody. It does work with a Toy Story cloud pattern Woody. Let's see if it works with my Brazilian cloud pattern Woody. This actually works with my movie accurate Woody. He actually fits in there as well. So I think that looks really cool for display. It definitely kind of looks movie accurate. I mean, although we never see this box in the movie for Woody because he was an old family toy that was handed from his dad, Andy's dad, we never saw the box, but they imagined John Lasseter said it would look like the Thinkway Toys collection box. But I think the Disney Store one is just a lot better for different reasons. And I really like the way it looks in there, actually. It's really, really cool. Let me know in the comment section below which Woody do you like better displayed in this Disney Store box. The last test we have here is a regular Disney Store Woody body, which is what comes with this box. But the only thing about this, even though it works really well, I have a huggable plush head, so that's why mine's different. It's my stunt Woody. But if you have a Disney Store Woody, you can display them like this in the box. The only problem is you don't have a Toy Story Collection stand or Signature Collection stand. You would need to get a Toy Story Collection or Signature Collection Woody stand to put your Disney Store Woody on. Otherwise, I don't think it's going to work. Unless, I guess, you can zip tie him from the back of the box. If you can figure that out, I'm sure you could probably keep him in there. Because he does come with this packaging. He's just strapped in plastic. So I guess you could keep him displayed in the box, but what's cool about this is that if you want to play with Woody, you can just take him out of this uh, box, no problem. Just unhook him from the doll stand like that, and Woody's out of the box. So that is just something to keep in mind if you'd like to display Woody like this. It works. It's awesome. Now for one more test, I want to actually see if the Jesse fits in here because I don't have the Disney Store Jesse box, but it's very similar to the Woody one. So let's experiment and see if we can fit Jesse inside this Disney Store box to see if that works. So when trying to put the uh, Jesse collection stand in here, the horseshoe is just too big. It does not fit. So it doesn't allow me to do it without ripping the box. So you can't use this stand. For this to work, we're going to have to use the collection Woody stand in here again because you see that fits in there because the stand folds up, we're able to do that. So now we see if Jesse will fit in here. So after trying it, it looks like Jesse does fit in the box. So that's really cool actually. So I need to get another Disney Store Jesse because I don't have the box anymore. So if I get a Disney Store Jesse box, it can match this one, but it'll just say Jesse. And she actually fits in there. The only problem is I need another Woody stand, which I do have an extra one. And maybe I'll do that in a future video is get another box for Jesse because it looks really nice, especially as a random collection to have them in boxes. It looks really, really good. So Jesse does fit in the box, but you do need a Toy Story collection Woody stand for this to work. But I think that looks really nice. I really am impressed with this. I hope your partners enjoyed today's video to show off and display your Toy Story characters in a Disney store shaped box. I'm actually excited to get a Jesse box now so that I could re replicate this display because it looks really good and it wouldn't take up too much shelf space. So I really like it a lot. As always partners, we're on our way to 100,000 subs you want to help support. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you later for future videos on this channel, and I'll see you partners on the next video review. You are the real Buzz Lightyear, you're, a, uh, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child's plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.